Hi everyone, this video is about finding the equation of a quadratic given its graph. Okay, so you'll remember that quadratic equations can come in different forms. There's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is your kind of standard form there. y equals ax minus px minus q, which is like your factorized form. And y equals ax minus h squared plus k, which is the completing the square form, for want of a better term. But also, each of these letters, these coefficients, if you will, will tell you uh, different, or their parameters, will tell you different information about the quadratic curve. For example, or for specifics, A tells you about uh, the width and the cat concavity of the parabola. So if A is a big number, it'll be a narrow curve. If it's a small number, it'll be a wide curve. If it's positive, it'll be U-shaped or concave up like this. If it's a negative number, it'll be the opposite way, uh, N-shaped or uh, concave down. Um, C is the Y-intercept, because if you put X equals 0 here, you'll be left with Y equals C. Um, P and Q are the x-intercepts, because if you put y equals 0, then one of these brackets has to be equal to 0. No factor law, remember that? So you've, you've got to either have P minus P, so P equals 0, uh, x equals P, or Q minus Q, x equals Q, in order to get y equals 0. And <coughs> I won't show you exactly why, but H, K is the coordinates of the vertex here. By the way, in this example, but in every case, H is halfway between P and Q. You can see that here. It's always true. P and Q. And uh, also, the H is given by negative B on 2A, which you'll recognize from the quadratic formula and um, you could do by rearranging. Um, I said it's always P plus Q over 2, uh, but if you don't have any uh, x-intercepts, of course that's not going to be the case, but this one still works every time. You won't have x-intercepts if the parabola is up here somewhere, or way down here. Okay, in order to find the equation then, we need three pieces of information. I'm not going to say three equations to find the three unknowns, but three pieces of information. Now, depending on what information we have, we choose the best formula. Okay, in this case, we've got C, we've got P, and we've got Q. Because there's our intercepts at 1 and 5, and there's our y-intercept at, at 5. So what we do is we pick the best equation. The best equation is this one is the one with P and Q in it. All right, and we put in the values of P and Q. So we've now we've got this value A here, and we have to work that out. So we take the other piece of information, C equals 5, and we put that in. How? Well, when X equals 0, Y equals 5. <coughs> Excuse me. Y equals 5. So you put that in the equation, and we work out that A equals 1. So our final answer we'll just um, expand, is equal to 1 times x minus 1, x minus 5, which is x squared minus 6x plus 5. Okay, another example. Well, this time you can see that a is going to be negative, but I'm jumping the gun a bit. Okay, again we've got p and q, and we've got c up here. So again, use the same formula, chuck the numbers in, and then use when y equals up. Uh, y equals 6 when x equals 0, put that information in, we work out that a equals negative 2, it was negative like I thought it would be, and uh, then expand out your brackets and get your final answer. Okay, example number 3. Okay, we don't have a p and q this time, but we've got hk here, and we've got c there, so we write them down. And we'll have to use the other formula. So x minus h squared plus k. 
Uh, we put those numbers in and now we still don't know what a is so we do the same as we've done the last two times x equals 0, y equals 20 y equals c, y equals 20 and we put that in and we work out that a equals 2 and uh, there we go there's our expanded final answer like always if I'm going too fast rewind the video uh, or pause the video and make sure you understand where all these numbers come from. Okay, example four. This one's a bit different because we don't have a HK, we don't have a PQ. What are we going to do? Well, we're just going to use our standard equation. We know that C equals four, so that's there. So I put that in, but we use the other two points to generate two equations. We've got two equals four A plus 2b and 9 equals 9a plus 3b. We got two equations with two unknowns solving simultaneously. You can look up another video to see how that works. Uh, I th you can even do it on your calculator. All right, and you get a equals 2 and b equals minus 3. So now this is super easy just to sub those three letters back into the first equation and there's your answer. Okay, well I hope this was a helpful little video for you and good luck finding equations of quadratics.